YouTube fam, what is up? It is so good to be back, y'all. Welcome to the first official episode of Contest Prep. Like I said, so stoked to be back on this platform. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the journey ahead. I figured we kick this off with a physique update, my starting point, what things are looking like, macros, cardio frequency, all that jazz. But let's start off with the physique update. I'm freaking fired up, let's go. Also for reference, this is my first time competing as a classic physique competitor. For those that have been following for a while, I was a part of the WBFF in a category called fitness model, which was kind of their version of classic physique. We got to do some poses, but no mandatories like classic physique does. So it's definitely a different ball game. And I'm very excited to take on this challenge. Let's just say things are a little bit different from 2015, which is when I got my pro card with the WBFF. And I'm very excited to show you all what progress has been made. And yeah, I think we're at a pretty solid starting point. So let's do this physique update. Rachel, so I thought it'd be really cool to do a side-by-side -side comparison of me back in 2019, eight weeks out, versus me in 2023, eight weeks out. The timing was just impeccable, so I thought it'd be a cool little concept. You can just see that I'm much leaner this time around, uh, despite being a couple pounds heavier. Uh, as stated before, I am a natural athlete, lifetime natural. Therefore, my, I don't have huge fluctuations in weights uh, year to year, month to month, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the overall look at structure. Like I said, leaner uh, as of right now in terms of conditioning. And you know, when it comes to, I'm sure we've all heard of muscle maturity, just which corresponds to muscle density. That's a very real thing. Like I can just tell just by looking at my physique that my muscle is quote unquote denser now. And that just comes with time. You know, that's something you can't rush. You have to go through. Uh, gain that experience, get the reps, literally put the reps in, and that's how you build it. That's how you build that density that you're seeing here. So really good. Um, obviously poses are a little bit different because I was prepping for men's physique back in 2019 versus classic physique in 2023. So I think it's cool to go back through footage like this because you know, it's very easy to get caught up in thinking that you haven't made any headway whatsoever because we live in our own heads, right? And we think that we're not making as much progress as we actually are, even though to third person perspective, you know, we've actually made crazy progress where we look really good. But once again, we're all our own worst critics and that's just the nature of the sport. And, you know, so you gotta keep yourself grounded and just acknowledge all the wins keep uh keep trucking along one day at a time all right y'all so that is a look at our starting point for the physique uh definitely at a much better starting point than i was in 2019 not only in terms of size that i've actually put on but just muscle density i mean that comes with age that comes with time but i'm also just a lot leaner than what i was before so given the body weight we are right at just under just under eight weeks out so Definitely going to be maximizing every single week, every single session. Um, yeah, leaving no stone unturned, we got to. So, especially stepping on stage, classic physique, it's going to be, I mean, it's gonna be competitive. Summer shredding is like, that's the thing. So many people compete at it. Um, so, have no choice but to bring our best, but I'm super stoked. Okay, so just pulling up my fitness pal right here to give you guys an idea of what my macros are looking like. Starting out for this cut, we are officially starting our cut. Um, and getting ourselves in a deficit so we can get shredded AF. That is the goal. Uh, okay, so current breakdown. Calories are 26.50 per day. 45% of those are going to be carbs, so that comes to right at 300 grams. 30% protein, just right at 200 grams. And 25% fat, 73 grams total per day. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see how the body responds to those particular macros for this first week. It's really just kind of feeling it out. It's definitely less than what I was eating before for our mini surplus that we initiated post marathon. I was consuming anywhere between 3,100 to 3,300 calories per day, but that was still with pretty intensive running volume per week. And so that kind of segues into what the training is actually looking like. 
For me, what I have found works best uh, to where I am staying super active, still adhering to the whole hybrid bodybuilding training lifestyle. That is the take that I am implementing for this particular go around when it comes to stepping on stage. It's not going to be just straight up bodybuilding workout and pump work. It's like, no, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I preach this. I preach, look the part, be the part, right? So. We want the aesthetics to match the athletics and truly be just a functional unit. Like, I mean, that is the goal, right? And I wanna show you guys what is actually possible naturally. Now, I'm gonna keep harping on that because I know summer shredding is an untested show. Not that everybody uses gear, but that is definitely in discussion. It's also just a very real variable. Um, but I wanna show you guys as a lifetime natural going on almost 15 years of training, what's actually possible. So my training splits, what it's looking like right now is full body push, full body pull. And this I deem, it's not really a rest day. It's just more of my weak point training. For me, it's always been my arms. That's just, I mean, I just, I'm not gifted when it comes to genetics in terms of bicep, especially biceps. My triceps are decent in terms of shape and definition, but they're just not that big. Like my arms are just not big. So that is day three and then just any weak point accessory work, repeat. If I need a day off, then I will implement a day off, but that's not, I haven't really needed one just because that arms accessory day is not very taxing. So my body is accustomed to being very active and it kind of just feels like rest to be honest. Uh, yeah, so that's what training looks like from a gym standpoint, okay? And so you're probably asking if you're maintaining the hybrid aspect, how are you implementing running? What's your cardio frequency, et cetera, and so forth. Starting out, cardio, I will say running is definitely going to decrease, but I do want to implement running just to maintain this and show you guys what it looks like and how it helps to shape the physique along the process. I'm not going to be running any more than 10 to 15 miles per week. It may, it's probably gonna be closer to 10 to be honest, because I know for a fact that I'm not going to be one of the bigger people on stage. I like that is hands down. I know that from the onset. So, you know, I've accepted that, that fact there and I'm totally cool with it because what I lack in size and just sheer mass, I always make up for in conditioning. That is like my bread and butter. I always bring it when it comes to fucking conditioning um, and being lean as fuck. So that is what I'm really doubling down on, but I am getting a lot more hypertrophy work, making sure the mass and just getting that necessary volume uh, in play so that I can have as much size as possible even while leaning down. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what it's looking like when it comes to running. Uh, 10 to 15 miles per week and then seeing how the body fat uh, percentage changes week over week we'll see how many cardio sessions I need to implement at the gym but for right now running roughly two to three times that distance and then doing maybe some steady state maybe one to two steady state sessions per week at the gym for like 200 to 300 calories so we'll see that's just kind of the starting ballpark outlook of what things are gonna be like. Um, they said this first week is just kind of feeling it out, feeling out the deficit. And even if I need to go down in calories from here, which is kind of likely just because 2650 really is not that low, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we'll see, we'll just see how the body responds and then we will we'll go from there. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what my starting point was full spectrum for our first classic physique show, Summer Shredding. 2023. All right, y'all. So I wanted to make this video just super short, very straightforward to the point, get the physique update, give you guys my starting point so that you guys have plenty to watch along this process. Uh, I'm super excited to document this. And uh, if you saw, we hit 500 subs, the family's growing and I'm so excited for every single one of you guys to be here and just to just to really share and have us grow together through this process. That's always been the goal. It's always been the mission. It's it's community first and uh, we're building real and something special. Culture over everything. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like this video. If you are subscribed, thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to stick along for this journey. I'm very excited to make my way back to the stage after a four year hiatus. Uh, new training style, new approach, new refreshed mindset that was most important. 
and yeah, we're fucking motivated. We're ready to kill it, y'all. And we're gonna do this together. So as always, stay true to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.